Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academic Coordinates. In this video, we're tackling analytical geometry. This video is directed to grade 10s, but even if you're doing grade 11 or grade 12, grab that pen and paper and let's do this mess together. Okay, today we're looking at analytical geometry, which is the study of geometric properties, right? So we're going to study things like points, we're going to study lines, right? And different relationships that are housed in a Cartesian plane. This is a Cartesian plane right here in two dimensions, right? There is the Y axis which is vertical and there is the x axis right which is horizontal and the y and the x axis are perpendicular to each other what that means is that this angle right here is 90 degrees and also the y axis and the x axis intersect at the origin right here right here is like a zero and also one thing i would like to mention is that the equation of the y axis which is this one is um x is equals to zero and the equation of the x axis, which is this line, is y is equals to zero, right? So for this video, we're going to study um, how to find the distance between two points, right? And the distance is the measure, right, of the length, right, between two points. We are, we are actually measuring the length between two given points. Let's say from the origin, right, until this point four right here, the distance will be like one, two, three, four units, right? And also from, let's say you want to find a distance from negative one until four, for example, like one, two, three, four, five units, right? So we can be able to find a distance as easy as that. However, what happens if the points that are given are not, you know, in a horizontal plane or a vertical plane? I mean, we cannot just count like, you know, one, two, three, four, as we, as we did right now. Let's say, for example, we're given two points um this point two and three and this point um negative three and one and let's say there's a line that connects these two points you know what i'm saying how we got this is that we're like one two units right and one two three three units upwards and so this one is like one two three units to the left and one unit downwards you know what i'm saying and you guys can see from here, we cannot just say one, two, three, you know, it's it's not going to be accurate, right? Um, There is a specific formula that we use to find this distance, you know what I'm saying? And this is called a coordinate or an ordered pair, right? So the question is, what is the formula that is used to find this distance right here? Okay, so D can be like for distance is equal to the square root of um x um two minus x one all squared plus y two minus y one all squared right so this is the formula that we use to find the distance between two points right okay and i would like you guys to take note that x one minus x two all squared equals to um, can you guys see that? Um, x2 minus x1 all squared, right? So this 2 will be equal. It's just that on one of them, you're going to get a negative, which will square, um, and it's going to give you a positive, right? Okay, cool. All right. Um, we've got two points, 2 and 3, and we've got um, negative 3 and negative 1. I'm going to find the difference between these two points um we can take this as x1 and y1 or this is x1 and y1 or whichever one of the two right so let's just take this as um x1 y1 right um, okay I'll write this one here this is x2 and y2 okay x2 is what is negative 3 let's just put it into our formula right here so it's negative 3 minus x1 x1 is 2 minus 2 all squared plus what is y2 y2 is um negative 1 minus y1 y1 is 3 okay we continue um you know Okay, so negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5, right? So it's going to be a negative 5 all squared plus negative 1 minus 3 is going to be a negative 4 all squared. 
okay guys we are almost there um so negative 5 squared is 25 25 plus negative 4 squared is 16 you know what i'm saying so now we're gonna find what is 25 plus 16 right so 5 plus 6 is 11 put the one here put the other one here so 1 plus 2 plus um 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4 so that's it there the square root of 41 so the length guys between this point and this point is the square root of 41 you know what i'm saying um maybe it's not one of those ideal answers that you guys are used to like you, you know you'll find five units or find four units but this is actually the distance between this point and the other one all right lastly guys i would like us to find a distance using um i think one of the theorems that you guys you know i'm sure you know it by head i want us to find a distance using pythagoras pythagoras theorem theorem right i hope you guys can see that okay let's say you've got a a a triangle like this for example you know we want to find the distance ac right how on earth are we going to do that you know what i'm saying um okay the distance of a b we can find that you know by just saying um one two three four so a b is four units you know um a b is four units right and then what about uh bc bc this is bc right here so it's one two units you know bc is two units you know what i'm saying so what are we looking for now we're looking for ac you know what i'm saying we cannot just say one two it's not gonna work you know what i'm saying um even if it's your birthday guys don't do it it's not gonna work right so we're gonna use a specific theorem actually pythagoras theorem can be actually derived from you know the distance um formula right okay and also while we are still here i just wanna you know hijack your time for example if we look here um what are the coordinates of a right a will be like one right um one unit to the right and one unit upward so it's one one these are the coordinates of a what are the coordinates of b the co of b one two three four five so it's going to be five and what five and one unit upward so it's five and one okay now what are the coordinates of c Firstly, I want us to note, guys, that C shares the same um, um, x coordinate as B. So C, the x coordinate is going to be 5, right? What about the y coordinate? It's going to be like 1, 2, 3, right? So C is going to be 5 and 3, right? Okay, so now we want to find AC. You know, you want to find AC? If you... If you guys watch Nathaniel's video when he was teaching you guys, you know, trigonometric ratios, you'll be able to appreciate that this AC is called the hypotenuse, right? Okay, finding AC, what we're going to use is our Pythagoras theorem will take this form. So it's going to be AC squared. This is AC. AC squared is equals to AB squared plus bc squared okay cool so this is the distance when i find ac right so what is ab ab is four units four squared plus um, bc it's two units so it's going to be two squared all right let me just lift my paper up all right um this is four squared is 16 plus 2 squared is 4, right? So 16 plus 4 is 20. So AC squared is um, 20. But now we're not looking for AC squared. We're looking for AC. What are you going to do? We're going to take the square root. 
um, both sides AC will equal us to um, the square root of 20. This, this was going to be plus or minus um, the square root of 20. However, in distance, distance is like positive, right? Um, it's a scalar quantity, you know, I'm sure you guys re remember such. Okay, so the distance between A and C um, is the square root of 20. You can also use, you know, the normal root um, that we took when we are actually finding the distance between the other points above. Let me just lift up my page. You can also use this same root. You will find the same answer. Right. However, if maybe you are given a right angled triangle and then, you know, obviously you will know this distance without even, you know, um, I don't know, um, struggling and this distance also. Right. So if you know this distance in this one, you'll be able to find AC. Right. OK, guys, please, 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 please. If you're struggling with this, comment below. If you need more help, comment below. We'll be glad to assist you guys. Um, um, okay, on the next video, I will be teaching you guys on how to find the gradient, right, um, 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 between two points, how to find the gradient, and what implication does a gradient have, right, on a, on a line, you know what I'm saying? Okay, guys, do stay blessed and have a fantastic day. Kindly subscribe to our channel, Tari of Ferrance, to tell their friends that in academic coordinates is happening, and do stay blessed and have a fantastic day.